I think one of the big unsolved questions in education uh, is that um, I, I'm a researcher in education, and we often find that uh, sort of our work winds up getting siloed or, or walled off in, in our own research spaces and doesn't have an impact on the field. Um, and that isn't because people aren't listening to us, um, but it's because we haven't created a system that really um, allows for information, allows for ideas to sort of flow, um, and that includes in both directions. That means that we're not hearing enough from practitioners in the field, that um, publishers uh, are not hearing enough from us and vice versa. So we've created a system that sort of has these different components that don't talk to each other very well. Uh, and I think that uh, one of the things we need to be working towards is a much more inclusive, bi-directional ecosystem where all the different components of it, from researchers to students to teachers um, to, to publishers to, to policymakers, need to have bi-directional communication um, across all those different linkages. I think that the open science of learning um, can help make that possible. Um, by partially breaking down some of the barriers to, to this at this point, which is that, um, that uh, there's often not incentives or even potentially uh, disincentives for sharing information across in these ways. Um, there's not systems um, that facilitate that communication. Um, there's not incentives for being able to support that as we think about resources that might be made available. There's not the necessary resources to support that. Um, and, uh, and there's not the right kind of um, scale of, uh, of, of, of incentives and values that's going to make this possible. Uh, I think that uh, the open science of learning can, can not only sort of create those opportunities, but highlight them um, and show that there's, uh, this is in fact what we should be doing as a field. We should be sort of making these connections um, so, that, uh, so that practitioners have a voice in the kinds of things that are being done in research. That researchers have a way of sort of uh, speaking with practitioners to talk about ways that they can make their work more accessible. Um, to have policymakers being able to develop policies based on um, the realities of classrooms, the reality of, uh, of, uh, of parents, um, the reality of uh, the, the current state of research. Um, so I think this is, this is one of the, the big places where open science of learning can help and I, I see that um, we can really make some big changes on a global scale in the coming years.